joerussellforlearning.com.au and joining me once again is James Cross, the CEO for ePower Resources. James, welcome back. How are you? Doing well. Thanks, Shay. It's nice to be here. Uh, I want to talk about the importance of original equipment manufacturers or OEMs, as they're referred to across the mining industry. Uh, now, lately, we are seeing a lot of OEMs coming in to help explorers get their projects online. Tell me, when it comes to graphite, how important are OEMs? Well, they, they're really the ultimate consumer. You know, like if you're if you're mining gold, you can sell the gold, you know, virtually anywhere. You sell it to a smelter and, you know, the price is virtually the same. Um, but with graphite, what it's really the industrial players, the consumers of graphite that, that play a big part. And again, all graphite is not necessarily created equal. So they need the type of graphite they want as well. So they, they need to hunt for specific characteristics around graphite. Now, our project in Quebec sits directly next to one of the two projects owned by Nouveau Monde Graphite, which is probably the dominant player in North American graphite. And when we started ePower back in late 2018, we were talking with investors about how eventually those OEMs, original equipment manufacturers, would need to come in and buy graphite deposits um, so that they can ensure that the shiny new factory they're building in something like electric vehicle batteries is going to be able to produce something because you need graphite to make a lithium ion battery and lots of other things too. But we've seen just about a year ago um, a consortium of General Motors, Panasonic, and Mitsui came in and announced equity investments of 300 million plus US dollars in investments in Nouveau Monde Graphite, which holds two of the only 10 significant North American projects. And they sit uh, immediately, one of their projects sits immediately adjacent to ours. Uh, you talk about having major OEMs nearby your project. Uh, is this important to ePower and the future plans of your graphite project? It, it is, and, and it's probably also important to the other OEMs. Now, through its 300 million plus capital infusion into Nouveau Mon Graphite, um, or their new in, infusion, General Motors, Panasonic, and Mitsui, they've taken control of, of two of those 10 significant North American graphite projects, and ours is one of those. But it also marks the first time in North America we've seen an OEM recognize and put capital behind securing some graphite while it's still sitting in the ground. Because you're building these shiny new factories to make electric vehicle batteries, each of which needs at least 80 kilos of graphite. You want to make sure you have some. So if you're spending $5 billion dollars to build that factory, what's another 150 million to get a good graphite deposit to support? Uh, listen, James, thank you so much for being here today. I've certainly enjoyed this graphite series deep dive. Uh, I look forward to speaking with you again. Thanks, Shay, and thanks everyone for watching.